Hello boys and girls, this is Mrs. Stone and this is spelling sort number 27. You're going to need your uh, sort sheet, you're going to need your sort envelope, and you're going to need an orange green colored pencil. Um, so just come back whenever you're ready. Alright, now that you're back, um, the very first thing I want to say is you are not going to have the sorting part this week because it is so extremely obvious about what so what category they belong in that there's just really no need to sort because we're talking about um, prefixes. So you're gonna cut, you're gonna see where there's just no need to sort this week. So we're just having a straight spelling test over your words this week. So what I want you to do is I want you to take all of your words out and the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the oddball column first. I know that's a little backwards but it's kind of one of those things where we're going to look and we're finding all the oddball words and so I want you to find the words uncle, reptile, and rescue. And let me explain why we're putting them in the oddball column from the get-go. If you look at the other two columns you have the prefix RE and then you have the prefix UN. When you have a prefix, you're going to add it to a root word. Now, on look at the orange column. The RE prefix, if I were to take it off, I have the word build. If you look at the UN column, I have unable. If I were to take the UN off, I would still have the word able. Now let's take a look at the oddball words. If I took the UN off of uncle, I would not be left with a real word. Same way with if I took off the RE in front of reptile, PTILE is not a, a word, and neither is SCUE. So, that's why they're over here in the oddball column. They have the beginning letters that are correct. However, they are not considered prefixes because a prefix is added to a base word or a root word, and there are not base or root words in those three words. So those are over in the oddball column uh, to begin with. All right. Now, the words that are left over, you should be able to sort very quickly. The reason why you should sort them very quickly is because some of them start with the letters RE, the prefix RE. Some of them start with the prefix UN. So they're very easy to put into two different categories. So let's go ahead and find the word recopy. All right. Re means to do again. So if you have some, if you copy something, if you were to recopy something, you're going to do it over again, just like rebuild. You build it. If you're going to do it again, you rebuild it. So, re means to do something again. Okay? So, I want you to see the word recopy, and then I want you to take your orange colored pencil, and I want you to highlight the R and the E in recopy. Now, you should have a set of other words, and, and the hint is it fills up all of the orange boxes. So, what I want you to do is I want you to put them on your chart, and you should have found the words Recycle, refill, retrace, review, remodel, return, refinish, rewrite, retake. Doesn't matter the order, just as long as they're in that column. So now that you have found all of those words, all right, so like if I were to say, um, recycle is kind of an interesting word. Okay, cycle means to, to do it in a circle, right? If I were to recycle, that means I'm going to use it and do it again. Um, if I return something, I turn something in, okay, if I give it back and I say I want you to return it to me, that means you're going to turn it in again. So, RE in front of all of those base words, okay, that's why they're in that column. They have the RE prefix in front of the base words. It means to do those words again. All right, so after you've found all of the RE words, I want you to take your orange colored pencil and I want you to highlight all the REs in each one of those words. Now, I'm having you do the sort. Um, you're not going to have the sort on the spelling test. 
However, I still want you to turn it into your doc on for next Tuesday um, because you do get a grade on the sort. So I, I want you to go ahead and that proves to me that you've done the lesson with me. All right, so you have a pile of words left and they obviously go in the UN pile, okay? So I want you to find the word unbutton, all right? So let's talk about what the prefix un means. So if I button something up and then I unbutton it, then I'm going to take everything that I do and do the opposite, okay? So let's, we'll look at some other examples. So on unbutton, I want you to highlight the UN in green. Now I want you to find all the other words and I want you to put them on the chart. You should have unfair, okay, unwrap, unselfish, unequal, unkind, uneven, unbeaten, unhappy, unpacked. So in all of those examples, we can take you in and sum it up with one word, and that word means not. So the prefix you in means not. So if I am unkind, I am not kind. If I am unhappy, I am not happy. So the prefix you in means not. All right. So now that you have seen those words, I want you to take your green colored pencil and I want you to highlight all the you in. I think this is probably one of the easier um, well, probably, I don't say, if I say one of the easier, that doesn't make sense because we've had many spelling tests. So going back to our ER and our EST rules, I would say this is one of our easiest spelling tests because um, none of these words are very difficult. Uh, it's, a, it's a spelling test over uh, prefixes, and so you should not have any trouble with these. I think the hardest word on here might be reptile and rescue, possibly. But I just want you to remember that we are not doing the sorting part. You are just doing the spelling part um, this week. So this is a very, very short spelling lesson. I think that they're easy words, very easy to sort. didn't take us very long at all. And so I want you to study, study, study. Uh, so that you, this is one of those tests that you're like, okay, I can make 100 on this one. I can do that. So I want you to practice, and we will have a test next Tuesday.